power plants in the hope of ensuring reliable energy supply. The facilities will be built by Russia's Rosatom Nuclear Power Company. Tunji Olani Pekun reports. Nigeria's power sector is unreliable. Electricity grid is known to collapse across the country. This leaves millions without light at any given time. But now, two nuclear power plants are to be built to fix these issues. It's hoped a reliable supply will improve life for people across the country. The government signed a deal in 2016 with Russian state-owned firm Rosatom to construct this facility. It specializes in nuclear power and is currently building plants in 12 countries. The government says the project is on track. But Nigeria is indeed delighted with the pace in which this partnership is progressing because we see it as a very strategic partnership. The area of peaceful application of nuclear science and technology. Nigeria and Russia have signed three agreements. One is an intergovernmental agreement by, on behalf of Nigeria by the Nigerian Atomic Energy Commission and by the Russian Nuclear Energy Corporation on behalf of the Russian Federation. The two are the broad-based project development agreements and all are aimed towards the cooperation for the development of nuclear energy for peaceful purposes. It's hoped that as well as stabilizing the power sector, nuclear energy can boost the economy and help infrastructure development. We are going to fine-tune and pinpoint gray areas and then work out a plan that can be implementable for the next coming few years. Our hope and understanding is that uh, the different organs that we have established for the implementation of the different agreements, starting with the JCC, which we are uh, very happy and thank uh, His Excellency for inaugurating the JCC, Nigerian JCC. The next step is the Nigerian JCC and the Russian JCC. Uh, they are going to have joint meeting to discuss other areas of the implementation. Staff of Rosatom are in Nigeria at the moment for a two-day meeting to finalize plans. Uh, we have a very, uh, very fruitful history of cooperation. We have signed three intergovernmental agreements. Uh, one of those was the uh, framework agreement on the peaceful use of nuclear power. And we have two agreements on the construction of uh, the uh, nuclear power plant and the multi-purpose research reactor. We have two project development agreements and we, I think, uh, we understand each other uh, intentions, each other plans, each other technologies and uh, abilities, uh, abilities quite well right now. The agreements reached in this room can set Nigeria on course for a brighter future. Tsunji Olani Pekun, Arise News. Igwebike Ijoma, an environmentalist and expert in strategic climate change communications, uh, joins us now. Igwebike, glad to have you join us. Yeah, thank Thanks you. Uh, to get a reliable power supply must be good news to you, right? Yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah, oh, let's oh, talk oh, about oh, it. Oh. That's what this is supposed to bring. I mean, the nuclear, two nuclear power plants, and I'm saying that must be good news to you, especially when you consider the fact that uh, Rosatom is the biggest in the world and builds nuclear plants across the entire world. Yes. Um, you know, nuclear, uh, since uh, Chernobyl and mm. uh, lately uh, Fukushima, Fukushima in 2011, yes. mm. uh, there's a, a lot of, uh, cons uh, you have, you know, many people and uh, countries and, and, and communities raising uh, concerns and genuine concerns uh, uh, against, uh, you know, uh, siting of nuclear power plants in their backyard. So there is this Not In My Backyard campaign, and it, uh, that campaign is for good reason. You know, so because nuclear, even though it's not directly polluting the environment, but how do you manage the waste and how do you maintain it? Because it requires high tech maintenance. So okay. if anything goes wrong in a country like Nigeria, where we cannot refine crude oil, our crude oil, mm -hmm. we can't run a refinery. So you are telling me or telling Nigerians and the whole world that you can operate a nuclear plant. So what you're saying in essence is that Nigeria is not ready for nuclear uh, powered energy. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Nigeria in spite of the is, fact yes. that only about less than 50% of Nigerians have access uh, to electricity. Now this nuclear project, four plants in Akwaibom and uh, Kogi State, will come at a cost of $20 billion. 
Yeah, nuclear is expensive, not just uh, economically. Now, how about the technology being very unforgiving? Mm. If any, we don't have the capacity, okay, um, of course, in other jurisdictions, so we don't have a system that can support that. Again, I said, for a country that cannot refine crude oil, and what's a refinery? We can't run a refinery. What's a refinery? Industrial heating and cooling. So we cannot run an industrial heating and cooling facility, and you are telling Nigerians that you want to jump, jump on a prestige nuclear project. Yeah, but even if it's for peaceful uses and and, and yeah, yeah. So it, it could be like when we talk, we talk about advantages, so to speak, for outweighing the disadvantages. Like she just concluded, uh, helped me to conclude it. You talk about <laughs> boosting agriculture. Yeah. Mm. You talk about development and infrastructure, which yeah. is which this is going to bring definitely. You know, this is going to bring. And then I don't see that if Russia brings this technology here, they're not going to be made to stay at least over some time uh, to help stabilize it and then maybe train people. When you consider the advantages. Are you aware that Nigeria is a country overloaded with violent non-state actors? Did In the know? Northeast, overrunning mi uh, military barracks? Mm. What's that got to do with this? I mean, safety. Don't you think safety? Because non-state actors who have one or two issues with the state mm. will want to target a nuclear reactor to damage it so and cause collateral damage, both on the country and on the immediate communities. That's why globally there is nowhere that anybody who is approving a nuclear power plant would want it, you know, in his backyard. He's with always this, in some other person's backyard. Yes. With and this, people are pushing back. With this pushback coming from people like yourself, what are the options you're laying before the Nigerian government? Renewable you know, energy. In terms of electricity. Because the that are is there. a serious problem for Nigeria. Without power, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Of can course. You? But is it the, the, the reason we don't have power, is it for lack of the resources? Financial resources? or for lack of the raw materials, or for lack of the technology. Those the technology right. is there. We have free renewable energy. We have hydropower, both the large scale and the small hydro. We have sun shining here almost 18, 12 to 18 mm -hmm. hours every day. So what have we done to harness those? We are making the same mistake we have made with petroleum. Which so is, now, which is? which is exporting jobs. So this is the time, if you, it, it's going to take at least seven years for you to develop a nuclear power plant. And you are also now going, it's going to be centrally funded. You are now going to string transmission lines where you I, have... I'm sure they factored all this in it, because it's, you see, it, it was signed in, they, they just come yeah. to uh, 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 start, make plans to start the project, but it was signed in 2016. Yeah. So I'm sure all these works have been mm -hmm. underground. No, it's, it's been, been going, going on, on since yeah. 2011, 20, you know, okay. because in 2012 Fine. we released, there was a press release by the World Council for Renewable Energy. Yeah, uh, I, I, I was reliably informed that uh, this nuclear plant could last uh, between 40 to 60 years. And like I said before, it's very reliable. Uh, mm -hmm. Are we not looking more at the disadvantages and forgetting the advantages no in, in a way being very alarmist no globally you know the number of nuclear power plants coming on stream is lower than the ones that are going that are being decommissioned yeah. so okay. it yeah, tells you that the technology seven, for example. is at its dead end now germany and most industrial technologically advanced countries are decommissioning their nuclear plant, uh, power plants and going renewable. Yeah, so but, but are, are we at really the stage mm. where we can, because everything is in state, like, like someone, someone says men are in uh, sizes and you're in phases or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Are we at that stage where we can, you know, handle uh, renewables? Uh, because, I mean, you must admit they've been coming a, a long way to get here to want to wipe away uh, nuclear plants. Sorry, uh, and maybe, maybe in you addition have to, to you have that, to really, uh, okay. Uh, take let that let me just yeah. you know point this out because it's saying those 
I mean, the Nigerian authorities and, of course, uh, Rosa Tom, yeah. that this will radically change the way nuclear power, uh, you know, is being uh, deployed. And there are advantages to this. I yeah, mean, there is wouldn't, wouldn't it amount to throwing away the baby with the bathwater when you say no? Because, you know, like they say, because fire can burn the man. The fire can cook the man. Should we just, you know... Uh, Dispose of Once fire. Once you go into the kitchen And we're going to use fire. Now, you see, globally, nuclear, there is a pushback against nuclear, right? And mm -hmm. for good reasons. So if you have a technologically advanced country like Japan, still struggling to come out of the Fukushima, Fukushima. in 2011, that's the whole perimeter of that, um, uh, yeah. the whole neighborhood there, you don't have anybody living there. We don't right. have that capacity. Go to the Niger okay. Delta and see what we are doing with oil wells. Now, you are aware of the Mambila hydropower plant that has been on the drawing table in the last 40 years. Absolutely. We're so even aware of you, 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 I mean, still this is rolling me away. This is thank you so much. Getting for energy you from, from, you know. Uh, thank you so much. We do appreciate you. Igwe Joma, Europe Thank you so much for joining us.